All right, we're ranking video game franchises. We're going to start off with Street Fighter, which I think overall, like, to the culture, I would say Street Fighter's probably A. Simply because of, uh... Just, like, off of the Versus logo in general, bro. Like, you type in Versus logo. Like, I've used this in so many different videos. Bro, this is literally from, free, from Street Fighter, bro. So, that an that alone, bro. And Street Fighter used to be, like, him back in the day before Tekken really, really took over. And Street Fighter 6 is still really good. Anyways, Red Dead, uh, I'm going to S. Uh, a lot of people say Red Dead 2 is the greatest game of all time. I've never played it, but I, I believe those people. There's too many people that say it. Halo... Halo's S. Halo carried my childhood, and it introduced me to a world of S a FPS arena games that I would have otherwise never probably played until later on in life. GTA S, the amount of detail, everything, it's just peak. Mass Effect, I've never really gotten into the Mass Effect games really heavily, but objectively speaking, I'll, I would say it's A, but since it's my tier list, I'm putting it at C. Because I only played one Mass Effect game, and I didn't even finish it. Sims... Um, mm, I never really played The Sims for real. I don't really have a huge uh, opinion on it. Castlevania never played Resident Evil. I played one Resident Evil game, so I don't know if that's enough for me to like say that Resident Evil's like the best. But I'll put it at B though. It's not terrible. They have a really really good catalog though. King of Fighters. I never really played those games. Mortal Kombat. I think Mortal Kombat might. Nah, it's not. It's on the same tier as Street Fighter, but it's higher. It's a, it's not it's not the front of A. It's not the front of A. The versus logo. Okay, they said the versus logo was for like Capcom, Marvel versus Capcom. Okay, okay, okay. So that's. I'm not gonna lie. Like those, like the Marvel versus Capcom games were really good. I'll put it in front of Mass Effect. Um, Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield's front of B. The last couple years, like their franchise started falling off. Medal of Honor. I never really played the Metal of Honor games. I had, like, one game, and I don't really remember it. Minecraft S. There's no reason why, I why it should be relevant for this long, and it still is. Probably one of the best uh, examples of a survival crafting game. Forza. Really good racing game. I'd put it at B, though. Middle of the pack. It's not a really recognizable brand, you know what I'm saying? Call of Duty's S. It defined a whole genre of FPS games. Blah, blah, blah. Doom. Um, Doom did, like... Especially back in the day before the like the 2016 Doom, like Doom was really, really, really good. I'll put it middle of the pack though. It's in B. Guilty Gear. I played like one Guilty Gear game. Never played Persona. I don't even know what this is. Uh, never played Wolfenstein. Devil May Cry's. Devil May Cry's good, but it's middle of the pack though. Middle of the pack. Actually, I'd say Devil May Cry is in front of Resident Evil. Shit, that's in front of Battlefield, really. Ah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I'll put it. I'll put it behind Battlefield. I'll put it behind. They ended up, I never played it. I just played at her. I played as her in a uh, uh, Lego S. Ah, Lego's A. Just because like the Lego games. If we're talking specifically games, Lego's to the back A. Elder Scrolls S. Uh, Fallout S. Even Fallout seventy six. People are starting to get on that now. Mario. There's no question. Mario's S. S tier. I'm not ranking them. Like these are all like. They're all just at the top. They're all even. Um, Zelda, we can go... We can... Because mm, me personally, I've never really played Zelda, though. So I, I'll, I'll, put, I'll just put it down here. I'll put it down here. But if I was being, like, objectively speaking, I think Zelda would have to go up here, too. Because, like, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, like, people love those games. But I've never played them before, so... I, I do plan on playing them. I just haven't gotten around to it. My catalog is insanely backlogged. Uh, Metroid, I never played Metroid games either. Dark Souls, never played. Um, I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm, I, th I should be playing Dark Souls 1 this week, actually. Or this, or next week. Final Fantasy, I love the Final Fantasy games. Uh, I'll put them at A. The fact that, like, you can play the games from back then, and then, like, now they're remastering. They have so many different games they can remaster now. And, like... Putting them into like an ARPG format versus the turn-based. Dude, it's... Uh, Final Fantasy is him, bro. It's him. Especially if it was like a long, continuous story. Which some of the games are kind of connected. I think they said they were connected to the sky or whatever. But I don't know. Uh, Dragon Quest never played. I always thought it was a Dragon Ball Z ripoff. 
Quake. Quake is really good. I only played Quake Arena, though. I don't know how many Quake games there are, so I'm going to just keep it at that. Counter-Strike. Like, CSGO is the only one I played. I'll go front of B for CSGO over Battlefield. Mm, actually, ah, I'll put it. I'll put Battlefield front, man, because Battlefield really did have a crazy run back in the day, though. Yo, Ryder Shadow, appreciate the follow, bro. Team Four, uh, uh, and I never played it. I did, but I didn't like. I don't remember any of it. Like, I didn't even play PC games for real whenever I was playing it. With that Half Life, I never played it. Never played Portal, Sonic. Uh, Sonic is not S. But Sonic is, like, at the front of A, though. Yeah, I think it's, like, right there. Like, Sonic's missing a couple, like, iconic games. Because Mario hasn't missed in a long time. Sonic's got to, Sonic's got a couple misses, let's be honest. What's good, Ryder? Uh, my, game, uh, my day's going pretty good. How's your day going? What you eat today so far? Yakuza never played. Super Smash Bros. S, easily. Uh, Hearts of Iron. I watched my friend play Hearts of Iron, and he tried to invade Germany for four hours. It, it looks really good. Europa, nope, never played. Victoria, nope. Crusader Kings, I played Crusader Kings three, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So, uh, come here, heroes. Pokemon S, easily. I don't even need to explain that one. I love Pokemon. Mega Man, I never really played the Mega Man games, but I know it's a really recognizable brand though. Metal Slug, Contra, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Civilization, I want to play. I, I think I have Civ six on my PlayStation, but I never played it yet. Last of Us, um, I played Last of Us one. I didn't play Last of Us two. But I know that uh, a lot of people like say Last of Us are like the greatest story games I've ever played. So with that being said, I'll put it at the back of A, behind Final Fantasy. Uncharted never played. I want to play it though. Crash never played. SimCity, FIFA. I'll put it in front of Lego. Age of Empires. I don't know what that is. Was it International Soccer Superstar? What? Need for Speed, middle of the pack. Need for Speed, middle of the pack. Behind, uh, uh, behind Mass Effect. Back oh my God, the Arkham games. Holy shit, dude! This like defined a whole genre of like superhero ARPGs. Um, I'm putting it behind Sonic. A, -A. Injustice, insanely underrated fighting games. But I wish Injustice Two, uh, was a little better. And they, why the fuck am I getting a breastfeeding ad? What the hell was that? That, that, that just threw me off. Um, Yeah, but just, uh, I'll put it behind Street Fighter Mortal Kombat. It's not better than these games, but it deserves to be up here with these games, though. Because it's right there. Midnight Club, I love Midnight Club, but it's not better than Need for Speed. Manhunt, I don't know what that is. Gran Turismo, never played. Shadow of Colossus, never played. Bioshock. I played Bioshock Infinite, but I never like really understood what was going on. Metro, Spyro, Guitar Hero, I fucking love Guitar Hero, bro. Um, I'll put it back at B, though. Roar, crap. I want to play uh, WoW. I want to get into WoW, but I, uh, my friend who is, like, the WoW expert that I want to be taught by him, he's, like, he's gone right now. He's, like, on a trip, so whenever he gets back, I'll uh, I'll schedule some shit with him so that way we can, uh, so I can learn WoW from him. I mean, learn WoW from him. Titanfall, I fuck with Titanfall heavy. But I'll put it at the front of C. I think if they were to have a Titanfall three and like that one like really blows up, then like they have like potential to go to A. But nothing higher than that though. Unreal Tournament never played. Gears of War, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Gears of War six has such a good fucking FIFA not being S series. Crazy. No, FIFA's not like FIFA's up there, but it's not like up there. You know what I'm saying? Like people will play all these games before they played FIFA. Like, that, like, that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I feel, But I feel like a lot of people play FIFA because they don't really have any other options. Like, it's either FIFA or Fortnite. Gears of War. Yeah, it, des it deserves to be an ass, but I'm not going to put it there. But objectively speaking, I think Gears of War is probably an ass. Just because I don't think they've missed on any of their games, really. At least that I've played. I played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And I even played Gears Tactics, and that was still, like, pretty decent. But I'll put it in... F I can't put it above Final Fantasy. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. That's the best spot for it. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to eat chicken with rice type shit. How, uh... What you have on the rice? 
Was it like butter or some shit or like what you or or was it just like playing white rice? Metal. I never played the Metal Gear games. I want to play them though. Darkstalkers, Starcraft. Never played Rainbow Six. Um, going off of just Siege alone because I haven't really played the other ones. I have Rainbow Six Vegas Two on my Xbox 360 that I want to play, but other than that, um, yeah, I think here is probably a good place for it. Siege is really good, though. That's why... It's only up here because of Siege. Because I, I haven't played the other ones. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Me, personally, I don't really think they've missed. Except for, like, some of their, like, side-scrolling games are, like, kind of weird. I'll put it up here at B. I, I don't think it can go higher than that. Until they get back to that, like, Assassin's Creed 1 through 3. Really, 1 through 4, like, style of the game where it's primarily stealthy and shit like that. Watch Dogs. I played Watch Dogs 1. I thought it had potential to be like a GTA type of game, but then it didn't. I'll, I'll put it in front of... Nah, I can't put that shit in front of Titanfall. I can't even put that shit in front of Mass Effect with a clear, clear conscience. Ah, fuck that. I'm putting Watch Dogs back here. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not good either. Dishonored? I never really played Dishonored. I didn't like the stealthy aspect of it. it I feel like it should have been third person if it was going to be stealthy. I don't like first person stealthy games. You know what I mean? You'd rather play Minecraft than playing FIFA? Because that's crazy. Yes. Like, if I... Like, of course, with friends. Like, if I'm playing Minecraft with my friends versus playing me, my friends with FIFA, like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, it's going to be more fun playing Minecraft. Like, my heart would be pumping more if a creeper was coming over to my house versus me trying to get a, like, last-minute goal at 90 minutes in FIFA. Left for Dead... Uh, uh, since they left it off at Left 4 Dead 2, we could really put it in front of last, uh, we could put it in front of Lego, actually. I, I wouldn't say I'd play that for FIFA, though. Kingdom Hearts never played. Madden. Madden fell off, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Madden fell off. I'll put it back here, though. 2K. 2K also fell off. But 2K's in a better position than Madden is right now. I'd put them right here. And WWE 2K. Me personally. I wouldn't put it an S. Me personally, I'd put that bitch an A. But I can't even like look at I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror if I put my if I put WWE 2K over any of these games up here. I'll put it in front of Devil McCry. Okay. Uh, any show never played. Show never played. UFC. A lot of the UFC games kind of feel the same to me. I don't know if it's just because of like it's an EA ism or what, but I don't really. I'll put UFC in front of 2K though. I'll put it in front of Resident Evil, but that's as high as it can go. Sorry. I don't know what that is. Never played Arma. Never played. Uh, never played that. Never played Major Zui. Donkey Kong. Oh, the Donkey Kong games? Nope, never played. Metal Republic, never played. Battlefront. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, like the new one, the remastered one. Um, Or not remastered, but you know what I mean. Mm, and Battlefront 1 too, that was also pretty good. I just wish they had like a campaign or some shit. That was like good. Uh, I'm probably put that bitch. Uh, actually, if this is including everything, and this is also including like the OG Battlefront two, this shit gotta go in, like up here, like not S, but like up here. I'm putting it up there because this is like the whole thing is like a franchise though. I used to be a Minecraft addict when I was like 11, type shit. You think I said the old Smackdown Raw games, Chef Kiss? No, yes, but like. You have to embrace the change a little bit. And, like, I think that's why a lot of people shitted on WWE 2K20. Because it changed too much of the game at once. Because 19 was really, really good. And then 20, like, they changed everything. And it kind of got fucked. But if you just, like, you just gotta, you know, you gotta roll with the punches every now and then. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is really fun. I just haven't played enough to feel like I have an opinion on it, though. God of War. I fucking love God of War. That's an ass. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, that's ass. The amount of hours I have on Budokai Tenkaichi 2 should probably, like, put me in a fucking insane asylum. Naruto Ultimate Ninja, okay, 
This is this isn't even a hot take. It shouldn't be a hot take. The Ultimate Ninja games are better than the Ultimate Ninja Storm games. And that is just simply a fact. That is simply a fact. The Ultimate Ninja Storm games are really good too, don't get me wrong. But they're not better than... Shit, I wouldn't even put them in front of FIFA. Like, the Ultimate Ninja games were much better. They have actually, like, felt, like, different. And felt like it was... I don't know, it just felt better, bruh. Ultimate Ninja Storm, like, I don't know. It started It started being copy and paste after this game right here. So that's why I can't really do that. I was born in UFC Undisputed. I never played that one. I only played the EA ones. The, like, UFC 2, 3, 4. I haven't played 5 yet, but... Blaze Blue, never played. Feel Fury, never played. Never played, never played. Street, oh, Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage is good. But I don't think it's, like... Good, good. Uh, I'll put that bitch in the back. It's good, though. Like, I would play it. Ripper Fighter, Tech. Oh, my God. Dude, I fucking... I never really played Tekken for real until Tekken 8. And I went back and played Tekken 7. It's just a completely different game. Like, it's just not for me. But dude, I really fuck with Tekken heavy. Uh, and the amount of people I've seen that picked up Tekken 8 for the first time after never playing Tekken and, like, really taking the time to learn the game is, like, really heartwarming. That Tekken was able to do that, and Street Fighter Six was not able to do that with their like modern controls and shit. So I'm going. I'll put Tekken over Street Fighter. Actually, what the fuck am I doing? I'm Mortal Kombat behind Street Fighter. Star Fox never played, never played. Silent Hill never played, never played, never played, never played, never played, never played. played. Pac Man. Pac-Man is like a one-trick pony, though. I'm putting it at D. I'm sorry, bro. Pac-Man is really, really good, though. Like, if you get me in front of a Pac-Man, like, table, like, I'm going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting in as many coins as I got in my pocket to play Pac-Man. But when you're comparing it against these other games right here, I'm not just going to sit down on my computer and play fucking Pac-Man, gang. Like, I'm sorry, bro. That's not happening. Unless I got, like, a movie or some shit on another screen and I just need something to play that's not too hard. or I don't know. But, like, And Tetris is really good, too, though. I fuck with Tetris. Um, I don't know what that is. Never really played it. Excite Bike. Why does that sound familiar? Didn't play Splinter so. Oh my god, Ultimate Alliance. Holy shit. Um, Ultimate Alliance was really good, and then it kind of just like got wiped off the face of the earth. I, 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 just nothing. I haven't heard anything, any, even any like rumors of an Ultimate Alliance four, like nothing. Early on three. Wait, what? Exclusively for the Switch? The fuck is this shit at? It's moving down a whole tier because of that. Ghost Recon, oh my god. Dude. The Ghost Recon games have literally just gotten better. Like, I don't know. Like, each one just gets better for some reason. I don't know how, the, I don't know what kind of crack is going on over there at Ubisoft. But, hey, Ubisoft can't kill this shit. They trying to kill everything else they got, but this shit right here, Ghost Recon is not gonna die, bro. It ain't going down without a fight. I'm putting Ghost Recon up at. I'm putting it up here. I'll put it right here, bro. Ghost Recon is like that, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I've been I've been getting into the Ghost Recon games recently. One Piece part. Why why is it specifically this one? Either way, I haven't played a fucking One Piece game anyways. Uh, I never played SoCon. Yo, JJ, I have one question. Is it illegal to molest a seven years old what? autistic disabled retarded girl? Anyways, guess what happened in school while I was shitting in school? I randomly heard a random voice that went, Oh yeah, JJ, please fuck me so hard till I come. Anyways, JJ, I got good news. I just got a plus on my science test. Please congrat me. Fuck. Um, for one, yes, that's illegal. Second, you didn't hear that in the bathroom. And two, good job on your science test. You know what I'm saying? Look, hey, we breed geniuses around here. You know what I'm saying? We breed geniuses around here. The Crisis games are severely underrated, though. I'll put them in the. I'll put it at the back of A. But the Crisis games are severely underrated. They're very ahead of their time, like graphics wise. If you go back and play them today, they still hold up. Uh, what the fuck is this? 
it said Dungeon Fighter. Oh yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Brother in Arms, Neo. I played. Uh, was it Wo Long? Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. I think that was, it's like set in the Neo universe. I think something like that. A lot of people were comparing the two. I don't know, but that that's about as close to a Neo game as I've experienced. Dead Space is fucking great. But when you compare it to the rest of these, it's kind of like, uh, like as a franchise, it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is anybody hyped for a Dead Space 4? You know, like that's, that, you kind of got to get to that point. I would be very excited, by the way, but I'm just saying like franchise wise, I would say, mm, I'd probably say it's ahead of all of these, actually. It's probably at the top of B. I can't put it in front of Crisis though. I'm sorry. Rockman, I never played it. Uh, never played, never played. Never played Witcher either. I want to get to it, but oh my god, Balloon's Tower Defense has so much. Like, I'll put it here, actually. I'll put Balloon's Tower Defense right here. I love Balloon Tower's Defense. Like, this is one of my favorite games of all time, but objectively speaking, I can't put it over like a lot of these other games. Uh, Dragon Age, I never played. Baldur's Gate, I've only played Baldur's Gate 3, and a lot of people said that's, on that's enough. I don't need to play the other Baldur's Gate games. Uh, I'll put it behind FIFA. I can't put it in S with like a like j just because the gameplay loop is like not for me. Ape Escape, uh, Altier, Soccer War, Football Manager, Prey, Digimon, Fly Out. Uh, like the fuck? Like I don't even know what half of those fucking logos were. Uh, Horizon. Ah. I, Hey, if they if they cap off this trilogy with a great game like this next the next Horizon game, if they cap this off with another really good game, we might be looking at an S. We might be looking at an S tier franchise. But right now, I have to put it in front of Last of Us. I have to I have to just keep it right here. I have to keep it right here. There's just no like you know what I'm saying. I, I, I'm I'm open to opening it up though. Legacy. Oh my God! Holy shit! Legacy Goku is really really good. If you haven't played, the, uh, these are the ones on the handheld, like the Game Boy. Um, I think they had one the DS as well. These are really good. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I can't put it in S. Hell no. Um, I'll put it at the front of C. They're really good, though. Really good. Raging Blast. The Raging Blast games, only because... Wait, Raging Blast is the one with the what-ifs, right? Raiding Blast had the what-if stories? Okay, bet. Yeah, Raiding Blast, because of the what-ifs, that's that's what carries the game. Without the raging, without the what-ifs, Raiding Blast would have been mid as fuck. Raging Blast would have been mid, but the what-ifs really carried it. Because uh, that's when we got to get, like, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and shit like that. Uh, I'll keep it here. I'll keep it in B. It's just like, yeah. Dead Rising. Have I ever... I think I played that shit for like 30 minutes, right? Just so I can get like a trophy. That was back when I was in my uh, my trophy hunting phase. Like I needed to get a trophy every single day. Or like I would cease to exist. Diablo, I played Diablo 4 and a little bit of Diablo 2. We're going to A. Back at A though. Back at A. I don't have enough uh, Diablo 3 experience. I think that would probably change things a little bit. Uh, Chivalry. I only played Chivalry 2 for like an hour. Monster Hunter. I've fucking love the monster hunting games we're going in front of bought ah i'll probably put this shit up here actually yeah right here is a perfect spot for monster hunter you don't like animal crossing no animal crossing like, never played i played animal crossing for like 10 minutes i'm gonna tell you the d all right let's be completely honest though let's be completely honest you have a PlayStation, you just turned on your PlayStation. You just turned on your PlayStation. You have Pac-Man and Tetris installed, but you also have all these other games on here too. You're not clicking Pac-Man or Tetris before you click the rest of these games. Like, that's just not happening. Like, simply, there's no reality where that's real. So, that's why it's down there. It's not bad. I love Pac-Man and Tetris, but you just gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to rank them. Ratchet and Clank. I don't think I ever play Ratchet and Clank. I want to play Armor Core, but I just haven't gotten there yet. It's universe. This shit will not fucking die. But the story is mid at best, and I'll put it at the back of B. 
I I, I do want to replay uh, Xenoverse 2, though, because I haven't played it in, like, shit, I think it might be, like, 10 years or some shit, bro. Like, I haven't played Xenoverse in a long time. Uzumaki Chronicles. How did, like, I just want to see how the thing looks, because I don't remember those games. Uzu, yeah. I just want to see how the HUD looks. Oh! This is Uzumaki Chronicles? Oh, I fuck with this game. Oh my god, it's been so long. Holy shit. Yo, I forgot about this shit. I'm putting it in front of Raging Blast. That's as high as it can go. Like, legally. Uh, Daytona, I don't know what that is. Double Dragon, I don't know, I don't know. Kirby? I don't think I've ever even played a Kirby game. Shovel Knight, Little Big Planet, never played, never played, never played, never played, never played. I just played Insurgency Sandstorm. I will put it right in front of Rainbow Six. It's better than Rainbow Six Siege. But not by a lot. Uh, oh, shit, what is this? Border oh, shit. Uh, Borderlands as a franchise. Borderlands is here. Borderlands has S potential, but Borderlands 3 was kind of mid, so like, you know what I'm saying? If they would have capped off that trilogy, we would have been in there, but... And then the pre-sequel was kind of like random. I don't really... I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know what the fuck this is. What, what... Is this another game, or like... I don't fucking know. I don't know. We can't throw it in S. We can't just... We can't just throow it in S just because. We're putting it in Never Played. I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know what game that is. Overwatch... Boy, the mighty have fallen. Uh, Overwatch should have been an S. But I'm putting Overwatch right behind FIFA. I'm putting Overwatch right behind FIFA. That's the that's the best it could do. Risk of I fucking love Risk of Rain too. I'm not gonna lie. Are you ready? Are you ready for what? You should do a family ranking like Dad S, Mom A. Um, I can't put data S because I don't have a dad, but I, I see what you're saying. Uh, find me a tier list with uh, the family rankings. I'll do it. Uh, Risk of Rain will... We can't put an A. What the fuck? I, I just seen what was in A. I'm like, hell no. Uh, we could put it... Behind Assassin's Creed. I think that's the best spot for it. Commandos don't know. Max Payne never played. Rayman. I used to play this with my little cousin, bro. I low-key want to get like a Rayman gameplay like of us playing again now that we're not going to be playing split screen and like we could just play online and shit i want to get that for a video for the gaming channel that would be pretty dope on some like throwback thursday type shit uh i think it's actually a perfect spot for rayman just back of b it's not a bad game at all like rayman games are not bad saints row fuck saints row fell off hard bro damn saints row you were supposed to be that one bruh you were supposed to be the one, bro. Damn, Saints Row fell off, bro. Fuck, you were supposed to be the one. I can't put it in D. I want to put this bullshit in D, but I can't do that, bro. I can't do it because it still has, like, a fun gameplay loop. And Saints Row 2 is, like, really, really good. Saints Row 3 is really, really good. I like 4, too, personally. It's just that reboot was fucking ass. Uh... Shit. I'm putting it in the front of B. That's the ah, that's the, that's the highest it can go. Bro. That's high. I wanted to find an excuse to put it in A. I couldn't think of one. Warhammer. I haven't played enough Warhammer games. There's too many for me to me for me to put me playing one of them in the in the list. Dark pictures. I fuck with the Dark Pictures games. This is like the only game similar to Until Dawn that I've played. Um, I'll put it at the back of B though. It's good. It's just good. Divinity Original Sin. I heard that's like Baldur's Gate. I never played it though. Mario Kart. That's an S. Mario Kart. One of the greatest games made of all time. Mario Party. Is not. But Mario Party's an A though. I'll put it at the front of A. Front of Sonic. Fuck that. Like, Yeah, I'll put that shit there. Uh, Mario Tennis is, it's not A tier, it's barely B tier, I'll put it in front of the universe, like, Mario Tennis is good though, don't get me wrong, I, now nah, we talking Super Mario Strikers though, we talking Strikers, we gotta put this shit in A, 
Uh, I'll put it right behind Ball Escape. It's the best spot for it. Paper Mario? I never... I, I've genuinely never played a Paper Mario game. The only time I played a Paper Mario game was on the... I think it was the Wii U or the Wii in GameStop. You know how you can play the demos inside of GameStop? I I was playing the Paper Mario demo, and I was like, oh, wow, this game looks really cool, and I'm just not going to spend $60 on it, and then I walked out. Mario & Luigi, I think they're talking about the RPG game, uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, and that is one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time. If I were to rebuy a Game Boy, that is one of the games I would rebuy. That and Pokemon Silver. Um, actually, Fire Red and Silver. I think this is safe. This is safe. I could, I could, sit, I could, I could leave that there. That's fine. Mario Saga the Limited Games. That's us. Don't have to think too hard about that one. That's us tier. Hours of fun and entertainment. I've spent too many hours on there trying to like get good at every single game. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Far Cry as a series. Far Cry technically hasn't missed. I'm not gonna lie. Far Cry Prime. Far Cry was it New Dawn or whatever? Like all of those games, all of them slap. Like. I'ma put it. I'ma put it in front of Ghost Recon because I enjoy it more than Ghost Recon. But I think objectively, Ghost Recon might be a little better. Destiny fell off. This is their last chance coming up next week. Um, hopefully, they turn out good. If they do, they could be an S. If not, they're gonna stay at the front of A. Destiny ha is really good though. Like, especially if it's your first time playing, it's gonna be one of your favorite games. You're like, oh my gosh, this game is fucking amazing. And then once you get caught in that gameplay loop of doing everything over and over and over and over and over again, that's when it's going to get boring. Uh, I've only played, like, Killing Floor for, like, an hour. I don't, I don't have enough uh, knowledge on it to... Why the fuck are there so many different Mega Man games? Flashpoint? I feel like I should know what that is. Oh, shit. Fancy Pants. I'll put it right there. Yeah, that's the best spot for it. It's not bad, I just don't, like... Helldivers is this. Even though Helldivers 1 was like, eh, Helldivers 2 is, like, literally dropped this year, and I can safely say that it is one of the best games of all time. Like, Angry Birds. Let's be honest with ourselves. Angry Birds C. I can't put it in D, bro. I'm sorry. Angry Birds is better than Pac-Man, bro. Angry Birds is like... That was like an OG, like... I played this shit on my phone type shit. Army of Two. I kind of remember that game. I'm not... City, I don't know how to play those games. I don't know how to play City Skylines and shit like that. Damn, when I compare the never played list to this list, it's like, damn, like... I gotta expand my fucking repertoire, bro. I gotta, I gotta get in my bag with these games, bro. I gotta play these games more, bro. I have to play these games. I have to, I, like, this just lets me know that I'm, like, there's still a lot that I gotta do in the gamer department. Type shit. Okay. Yeah, this is solid. This is solid right here. Solid right here. W list. W list. It's a solid list. This is a solid list, bro. It's a solid list. Uh, let me know what you guys will change on in the comments, though.